The Timberwolves play before the home crowd at the Target Center. And we've got it here live for you on 2K Sports from Minnesota. Last game for the Timberwolves, they picked up the W against the Warriors in Oakland. Boy, they were in control of that game, weren't they? Played very well. Guys, I agree with what you just said there, Steve. I mean, I never sensed the time when they weren't all on the same page out there. And now the Lakers starting group. They've got Carter. Watch out there with Rudy Gay. Then it's Roy Hibbert and it's Harris in at the point. And for Minnesota, Durant is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Memento Core. Then there's Kobe. And it's Nash in at the one. Tip off goes to Minnesota. Outside, Kobe leans from outside. It's hauled in by Harris. Deflects the pass out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here is Carter. Guarded by Kobe. Carter kicks to Hibbert. Harris. Guarded now by Nash. A baseline J. Minnesota with the rebound. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Lakers team. Durant for three. That's good. Durant's got himself on the board with three there. You know, the defense in transition typically is trained to protect the rim and the paint first. And those are the type of open looks you can get from beyond the arc under those circumstances. Now here is Carter, averaging nine points per contest. They rule this one goaltending. Count the shot. Easy finish there. Defense was helpless. Here's Harris. It's a five-point game. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, Mike Brown and I shared a few moments. Last season, Kevin Durant established himself as perhaps the elite scorer in the NBA. Coach told me he's very conscious of what the Durantula is capable of. He can make shots from three. He can drive in either direction. He can post up. There are simply no holes in his game. All right, Doris. Hibbert with the puck. So it's the Lakers now. It's a three-point game. They defeated the Hornets in their last game. And I thought the most impressive part of that win, other than the final score, was just the way they shared the ball offensively. Well, exactly, Steve. I mean, everybody was in on the act. And making a change here are the Timberwolves. Anthony's checked in. Here is Carter. Goes straight up. Off on the layup. Tell you what, the defense wasn't backing down there because usually he can use his strength to fight through contact. Boy, he's a great option from long range on the fast break if you give him that much room. Watch backing down. Over Anthony. Shot's good by Blotch. Blotch has got his first points of the game. The Timberwolves with a quick start to this game. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here is the 2K leaderboard. What a terrific defensive performance these teams have had since All-Star. In fourth, the Timberwolves. Kevin, they've had a terrific inside game since at the halfway point of the season, especially in terms of defense because they've protected the paint and everybody's been on the same page. Here's Kobe. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Well, he knows his role. He embraces it. And he's really a guy that you can go to offensively. And stolen by LeBron. Stops, pops, and there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Defense wasn't able to get back fast enough to contest. Well, they were caught flat-footed after committing the turnover that time, guys. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. You gotta keep everybody on the same page. They need to get their heads together. That's the goal. Only three games until the start of the playoffs. Let's see how the West will be won. They look at the Timberwolves. They're looking to lock up the best record of the conference and a number one seed come playoff time. And, of course, there's the Lakers. Not really any threat right now. You know, I think for the Timberwolves, they've achieved all the goals they'd set for themselves in the early part of the season. I mean, their confidence really sky high right now. It should be. Well, I don't see any reason, Clark, why they, they shouldn't be able to keep this pace up. I mean, they, this is a team that has some talent. They've clearly established an identity. Uh, they're playing both sides of the floor, and they put together a nice start to this season, so the momentum is there for them. 
Harris gets to Cook for three. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Carter's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And here's Kobe for three. That's good. This looks like a three-point contest out there, guys. Yeah, you would fit right in, partner. I mean, you hit one on us, we'll hit one on you. A terrific battle going on here. Let's it go from deep. The Lakers with the rebound. Harris has got four rebounds in this game. Carter, the pass to Harris. Shoots the three, and it's Carter again missing. Tell you what, things just aren't bouncing his way this quarter. Kobe with the bucket. Wow, hot start offensively. Racing out to that quick lead. I mean, they're scoring and shooting with a lot of confidence. Timeout called the Lakers. Darko Milicic, she's checked in for Minnesota. Heinrich comes in for Steve Nash. The Lakers also changing it up. Ed Davis is checked in for Blatch. And Landry Field subbed in for Vince Carter. Here's Gay. An 11-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Harris against Heinrich. A 10-footer. Carmelo Anthony comes up with the rebound. Anthony's got three rebounds so far in the game. That's good. Great start here early on, but they've got to continue to play well to maintain that lead. Boy, I tell you what, really nice start for them here, guys. Uh, getting after it both ends of the floor, you got it like that. Now here's Gay. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Covered by LeBron. Just five on the clock. Over James. And again, no good by the Lakers. Well contested shot there. And that's the key defensively. You've got to make them work for a challenge every shot. Lakers trail by 12. Here is Fields. Gay outside. They need this. And the jam by Rudy Gay. Big time action. Right slam cam once again. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how you throw it down with four. Yeah, to the hoop with reckless abandon, yeah, that, Steve. That takes some courage, guys, because the defense was right there. Ray Allen is checked in for Kobe. The free throw off from game. But they recover it. And stolen by LeBron. Boy, their struggles continue. Turnover is a major factor. Yeah, and a little too casual. A little Joe Cool here to start the game. And that can be problematic. Heads up play, preventing the easy lay-in. Yeah, I like that. I mean, he saw it was a free layup, didn't want to give that up, so he fouled him the fourth free throw. 106 left in the first. Heinrich against Harris. Back to Hibbert. Lifts up. Here's Davis. And the layup is good. Davis has got his first two points of the night. They got that rebound, but this is not how they wanted to start the game in terms of hitting the glass. Yeah, it's about time they actually got a rebound. It's time to get physical here in this game. There's the pass to Fields. And stolen by LeBron. You know, Kevin, they've just continued to turn the ball over to give it away. They just can't afford to keep playing this way. No, not if they're going to come back and win this game. I mean, taking care of the ball has to be priority number one. Here is Fields. It's stolen by Allen. Pulls up. High post. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Allen. Look at that dime. On time and on target. Harris against Heinrich. Heinrich against Harris. A three from Gay. Kirk Heinrich with the rebound. And here comes LeBron. He's coming off a 16-point game against Golden State. They have just been pouring in threes from the start. And the defense is drowning. I mean, they can't find a way to get out of the hole. I mean, a nice lead to start the game with. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Timberwolves lead by 18. Big boost from their bench there, guys, in that first quarter. They did a nice job coming in and really giving this team a lift.
Yeah, it's a nice attribute to have. Firepower coming off the pine early. That's good stuff. Don't go away. We'll see you in a moment. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Nash out there with Kobe, and it's Durant, and it's LeBron James, and it's Okul in at the five, patrolling the paint. That's old school right there, and I like it, the fadeaway. Looked like he hit him on the release of that shot, so good call by the official. Very easy one there. It sends him to the line for a pair of free throws. He hits the second from the line. Here's Harris. Defended by Nash. Harris against Nash. Green dishes to Gantz reach. Over Durant. And there's another one for the Lakers. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. Nash kicks to Durant. It's blocked. Lakers trail by 15. Harris outside. Picked up by Kobe. Here's Carter. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Seven points for Vince Carter. And here's Kobe from the arc. Now Green looking for his first bucket of the game. Harris kicks over to watch. Guarded now by Memo Okur. There's the dish to Green. Six on the shot clock. Here's Carter. Makes it off the glass. Carter's got six here in this quarter. They continue to barrel their way inside. And when's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of their last ten coming inside. If you're wondering who's been the best among the men in the middle, look no further. Here are the leaders in rebounding for the second half of the season. Well, you look at LeBron James, one of the game's best, second in the league. The end of the season is getting closer, and here's a guy who's making the most of every game. He can sense that finish line. Well, he's in an absolute terror. Ruthless on the glass, gobbling up those rebounds. Carmelo Anthony has checked in for the Timberwolves. Allen comes in for Kobe. The Lakers also changing it up. Hibbert comes in for Gedzerich. Eric Ludsoe is subbed in for Devin Harris. Pulls up on the elbow. No good from Okur. Lakers trail by 11. They're moving it around. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. And here's Anthony for three. Rebound the Lakers. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 10-1 run. Great D that time from Nash. He's probably better suited sending the ball back out to a teammate because that's not his game right there. Here's Bledsoe, defended by Allen. Latch against Anthony. Shoots from 12. Here's a look at the schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. They're off to Denver after this game as they apply their skills at the Pepsi Center. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Timberwolves leading by nine. Nash the pass to Durant. And Kevin Durant with the slam. And now here's the Sprite Slam Cam replay. Come on now, I didn't see. Can you believe that <laughs> finish? Boy, a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of it. Oh, that'll be a fan favorite. Right. That was not your average typical dunk. Here's Bledsoe. Defended by Nash. Shoots. Blocked. Now the Timberwolves with it. They can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. From the left block. No good from Bledsoe. And here is Anthony. He has five. Wasted no time on that one. 
Eight points for Nick. You know, even though it's transition, he's got the green light to fire from there if he has a good look at it. Bloodsoe dishes the Blatch. The feed to Bloodsoe. Over Durant. And the Lakers with another miss. Good, tough defense there. Getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Well, he's got the reputation of being a tough defender, and there was an example right there for him. And here's Anthony from the arc. There's the bucket. Good. Anthony's got eight points. Fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Yep, of their last five hoops, three of them have come from long range. Kicks to Carter. It's stolen by Allen. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. Showing no mercy. They are getting after them in both ends of the floor. Continuing to add to the lead as the minutes tick away. Bledsoe kicks to Carter. Bledsoe passes to Carter. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. 12 points for Vince Carter. I like the job they're doing. A much better job of getting him involved in the offense here in the second quarter. Durant, the Lakers with the rebound. Hibbert's got three rebounds so far in the game. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. And a moment now to check out who Minnesota has coming up. Their next game is at the Rockets Arena in Houston for a game with the Rockets. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Some changes for Minnesota. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Okur. LeBron comes in for Kevin Durant. And Kobe is subbed in for Ray Allen. The Lakers also changing it up. Dan Gadzarich, he's checked in for Hibbert. Gay comes in for Daniel Green. And Evan Harris is subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. Shoots from 12. Shots good by Blotch. Blotch has got his second bucket of the night. The offense has a better flow, and it actually looks better here in the second quarter. Yeah, they've steadied themselves a little bit, trying to close this gap. Blatch against Anthony. Shoots over Blotch. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by LeBron. Ten points for Carmelo Anthony. Here's Harris. And there's another one for the Lakers. Tell you what, guys, he's helped his team just about every way possible today. Yeah, he's been without a weakness today, Steve. I mean, he's been excellent in every area. Even numbers, four on four. Back to Gay. He kicks it to Blatch. Haslam on him. Goes up. LeBron knocks it away. And he recovers it. And that one's good by Gay. Gotta love the inside-out game there, guys. Timberwolves leading by 13. Stolen by Gay. And here we go. And Vince Carter with the slam. Boy, he's got enough any time there to put a little something extra on that one. Two scoops of ice cream after that. <laughs> well, that's a play that's going to be remembered from this game, that's for sure. I think that was more like a banana split, Clark. <laughs> Nash dishes to Carmelo. Great ball movement. Allen for three. Gets it to go. And the Timberwolves lead by 14. Here's Carter. And that's good for two. Carter's got 13 points in just this quarter. They get a hand on it. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. We've seen Nash getting it done. He has 11 points, and he's hit a trio of three-pointers to give himself nine points from downtown. He's doing his best to stretch this defense out, and uh, this long-range outburst that bodes well for this club. We'll come right back from Minneapolis. Nothing can beat the NBA on a Friday night, except for maybe a Saturday night. We'll get to that tomorrow, right now. It's time for the HP Halftime Report. The Minnesota Timberwolves have the lead against the Lakers. The three-point shooting? Ridiculous. They're knocking down everything. For LeBron, it's been way too easy against the defense of the Lakers. He's got seven points, and he's applying defensive pressure, adding some steals as well. And for the Lakers, they've been battling. Phenomenal work on the defensive glass. They're boxing out. They're hauling it in every time. They've gotten some great minutes out of Vince Carter. He scored 16 points and been a huge factor on the glass. And now, here's some of the stats from tonight's two top performers. And now, let's go around the league to catch up on other NBA action. 
at Time Warner Cable Arena, the Bobcats with the win over the Hawks. That's win number five for them in their last seven times out. Dirk Nowitzki had the team high. And another game that also finished up, Boston ended up with a loss to the Bulls out at United Center. Couldn't overcome their opponent and end up dropping a game which they thought they could win. The bulk of the scoring came from Raymond Felton. And a look now at the rest of the action from around the NBA. At the Rose Garden, the Trail Blazers are winning over the Thunder. A big boy win for them. They're able to pull it out in OT. Their top scorer, Tyreek Evans. Time for us to wrap things up. Let's get back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. I'll see you next time. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. Here's Harris. Second half underway, and here's who Mike Brown's got on the floor. Boy Hibbert is out there with Blotch. Then there's Rudy Gay. Then it's Devin Harris. And it's Carter in at the shooting guard. Blatch against Durant. Six to shoot. Tipped. What a steal. That's some excellent defense right there. And LeBron throws it down hard. Boy, that was a violent throw down there. You're telling me. Well, you know when he goes up with both hands, it's going to go down hard. And as always, that was our Sprite Slam Cam giving us the up-close and personal replay. Carter kicks to Harris. Defended by Nash. Harris misses. Boy, he shows a lot of desire when he's fighting for that tough board. And his length doesn't hurt either. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist from Kobe. 12 points for LeBron. Kobe against Carter. Guarded by Kobe. Carter against Kobe. Lock at six. Harris knocks it down from 19 feet. Harris has got eight points. Timberwolves leading by 15. And it's Durant missing. He should make that one. Guys, he had a pretty good look at the basket. Just couldn't get it to go. Inside to Hibbert. He only had one giveaway in the first half, but he's been much sloppier since the break, and the turnover totals have soared. The finger roll finish. A little finesse for you, folks. And the Lakers call time here. Let's have a look at the league's top scorers for the past month. To say these guys have been hot is an understatement. LeBron James, number one. Well, I'm sure the coach is pleased with his performance here recently. He's been on a nice little roll. If this keeps up, this team will definitely be moving in the right direction. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Kevin Durant. Here's Harris. Eight points for him. He feeds it to Hibbert. Over Okur, and it's Hibbert missing. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. Simply need to just stay the course, Kevin. That's it. It's been a good course so far. Yep. Okur kicks it over to Nash. Baseline try. Kobe, no good. And the Lakers have possession. Trailing by 17. Feeds it to Hibbert. Defended by Nash. With the shot. So the whistle blows on the shot. And two free throws for the contact right there. They get Steve Nash. Clark, it seems like we've seen a lot of big men in the league struggle with injuries. Yao Ming, Greg Oden, Andrew Bynum. Why is that? I don't think there's any specific rhyme or reason, but you do have to consider how big those guys are and the amount of pressure they put on their lower limb. And what about the up-tempo style for the big man? That could be a factor as well. Good point, Kevin. Getting up and down, being required to run as much and as hard as they are could factor in as well. Here's Hibbert. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Clark, when you talk about the seven-footers battling injuries and facing more up-tempo styles of play, do you think the value of the giant center now is beginning to diminish? Well, it has diminished some, but when you can have an athletic big center that can get up and down and still do the things that you traditionally want done out of that position, that's a win-win. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. Anthony with the bucket. Another three goes down, guys. Yeah, you got to get up into them defensively. I mean, you got to put pressure on guys and make them put the ball on the floor. 
Shot from the top of the key. And the basket by Harris. Harris has got 10. And now six of their last 10 points from mid-range. Yeah, a jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. And the dunk by LeBron. They had a clear path to the hoop the whole way. Yeah, it doesn't get much easier than that, Steve. Here's Harris. He's got 10. Defended by Nash. Carter outside. Davis against Anthony. Post up shot. Rebounded by Memento Kour. Okur's got three rebounds now in this one. Releases. The shot by Anthony, no good. Now Harris. Averaging eight points a game. Left side, Davis. Got it. Good job in the low post. Davis has got his second basket of the night. And here's Kobe for three. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got three rebounds now in this one. And here's Carter. He's got 16. There's the pick. Back to Gay. Shot clock at six. Over Bryant. Gay can't get it to go. Good, tough defense there. Getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Well, he's got the reputation of being a tough defender, and there was an example right there for you. Gay, right side. He drains the quick shot. Gay's got his third basket of the night. Well, they've done a lot of their damage from mid-range here, guys. I mean, knocking down those shots with regularity. Yeah, how about eight of their last ten points, guys, coming off that mid-range area jump shot. So, shows you, you don't have to be at the rim to score. Okur the pass to Kobe. Nash, from deep. That doesn't go either for Nash. Clark, they're looking now at a sizable deficit. Yeah, you know, they've got a lot of work ahead of them, but no reason to give up hope right now. No, the game's still out there for them, but they've got to get back to their game plan and start to grind out each possession. Carter outside. Here's Gay, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Minnesota making some changes. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for LeBron. And it's Heinrich in for Steve Nash. That's good from Gay. Here's Heinrich. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third. Shot to stop the run. And he knocks down the jumper. And the Timberwolves lead by 12. Another fast break hoop. They're just outrunning their opponent here. You know what, Steve? I think the defense has left themselves vulnerable. And they're learning the hard way that speed definitely kills. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. Haslam sinks it from about nine feet out. Haslam's got his second bucket of the game to go. Gay outside. Right side green. Fields inside the line. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Yeah, so far in this one, he's played a, a different role than normal, but uh, you know, he's done a nice job as his team's playmaker here today. And all of it's worked for the most part. I mean, he might not be known as a dime dropper, but after this game, he will be. The Timberwolves on top, up by 12. It's time for the fourth quarter and time to check in with the fourth member of our team, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark Report. Hi, Doris. Hey, Kevin. We've seen the spark in this game come from Carmelo Anthony. He didn't start the game on the floor, but the way he stepped up and made an impact, you have to think he'll be on it when this thing ends. We'll see if that's the case, guys. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thank you. What a game it's been for him up to this point, Clark. Kevin, he has been absolutely outstanding. I mean, we may not have been expecting him to play this kind of role, but he certainly has put his impact on this game. Yeah, he sure has, Clark. A huge factor off the bench. So with Anthony sitting on the bench, 
This is Rick Adelman's lineup. LeBron James is out there with Durant. Then it's Nash. And it's Memento Cool. And it's Kobe in a two spot. Lakers trail by 15. Forbes dishes to Fields. Dishes it to Forbes. Okur against Watch. Passes it to Forbes. Just five to shoot. Over LeBron. The shot's good from Forbes. Here's LeBron. And here's Kobe for three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's now got his sixth assist on the night. Here's Bledsoe, defended by Nash. Bledsoe with Nash gets called for the reach. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Blotch. Here is Forbes. Six on the shot clock. Bryant gets the reach in call. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's his fourth, so he's going to have to be very careful the way he plays and pick his spots here in the second half. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Roy Hibbert's checked in for Forbes. Carter comes in for Landry Fields. And Devin Harris subbed in for Eric Ludson. 13 feet out, and the Lakers check on two more. Here's LeBron. Guarded by Green. LeBron. And LeBron throws it down hard. Now Sprite slam cam to replay that one. Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the Sunday on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Lakers trail by 17. Outside, Green. Pass to Carter. Guarded by Kobe. Lock at six. Here's Harris. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. It's on Kevin Durant. Good game for Harris. Ten points, and he hasn't forgotten to get his teammates involved either. Well, that's important, Clark. I mean, he's conscious of the fact that moving the ball around gets the defense uh, to move. It forces them to work, and it creates a better offensive flow for his own team. Whole new look on the floor for Minnesota. Pierce covering, hangs in the air, and the basket by Harris. Harris has got four this quarter. That's four of their last five buckets now coming in the corner area. And they're in attack mode right now, barreling in there with bad man intensity. He dishes it to Black. Here's Hibbert, and the rejection by Milicic. Timberwolves leading by 16. Pierce for three, and again, Minnesota with the triple. They're in a groove now. These three-pointers just falling at will here in the second half. Yeah, I think the defense has got major headaches because this team's just not missing. Allen for three. Can't get it to go. And the Lakers go with it the other way. Harris kicks over the watch. Back to Harris. He's guarded by Ridna. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. Here's Green, and he finishes on the layup. How about the determination right there on that putback? Now the Timberwolves with it. For three, Pierce. A rebound by Carter. Carter's got his fourth rebound in this one. Harris passes to Hibbert. Takes it up for the stuff. A true power dunk, Kev. I thought he might squeeze the air out of the ball on that one. Well, when he gets it near the basket, you know where he's headed. And he's going fast and with force. Yeah. It's stolen by Green. Lakers trail by 15. And then Carter with the jam. Now that's a special order right there. Not everybody can camp off a dunk like that. Yeah, very difficult maneuver, but a tremendous one if you can pull it off. Here's Cook. I like that. They ran to the three-point line and got an uncontested look there in transition. Timeout called the Lakers. 
He wants to make a few adjustments out there, and he's running through those with his team right now. The Timberwolves making a switch here. James is checked in. The Lakers also with the sub. Rudy Gay is checked in for Daniel Green. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And took a gamble there to try to disrupt that pass. Yeah, he couldn't quite get a hold of it, but still a nice play. Here is Carter. L is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Gay. Over Pierce. And the Lakers with another miss. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively. Limit his easy chances inside. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Harris against Pierce. He's feeling it. Good on the jump shot. 16 points for Devin Harris. He's been producing all night. It's up to the rest of his team. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Looking to close this game out strong here. Yeah, this one will be put away if they can get just a few more buckets. He can put it on ice. Here's Harris. From the top of the key, he buries it. Harris has got 12 points here in the second half. Hibbert with the clock. Now here is Harris. Carter outside. The tray. That's good. Carter's got 21. Looks like they're finally starting to wake up here, guys, but they're going to have to continue this run to get back in it. Yeah, they really hurt themselves early on, and you hope now it's not too little too late. He's been so solid. You've got to keep him out there on the floor, really doing a nice job for the offense. Harris. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Got just enough of him on the way out to draw that whistle. I thought that was a good call, Steve. I mean, you could see how that affected his shot just a little bit. And so he makes both from the line. And here comes LeBron. Devin Harris covering from beyond the arc. Milicic, no luck. Boy, the defense just backing off, begging him to take that shot. The Lakers on offense. A 12-point game. Milicic is tagged with the reach. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. And that one misses. That one misses. Clark, they're this close to putting it away. Yeah, and they don't need to do anything to reinvent the wheel here. I mean, just take time off the clock and squeeze the orange. Don't turn it over. Well, they've looked good here tonight, and now they are coasting to the finish line. Steve, just a matter of time right now. Watch backing down. Harris dishes to Blatch. And it's Paul Pierce with the rebound. And Minnesota has possession. Well, for the Timberwolves, they can just run out the clock here. Leaner from distance. No good from LeBron. And here comes Carter, down low, and Rudy Gay with the slam. How's that for finishing with flavor? Absolutely fantastic. I think he was saving that one for a special occasion. LeBron outside, beyond the arc, that drops. Nice offensive play there, and uh, this one's pretty much in the books, guys. Yeah, I agree. You know what? It was a very good showing from them to come away with the win. I was very impressed. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, LeBron James.